wasn't planning on making a video, honestly, but it just kind of happened. The motivation kind of just came here. Let me zoom out. But spur of the moment decision. My arm is going to get real tired from holding this. Uh, this is going to be an awkwardly shot video. Lately, I've just gotten a, like this really a spur of motivation. A lot of good ideas like came to me like out of nowhere. Just things I could uh, talk about or content I could upload. Um, I do have some good ideas for the future. This video is basically just going to be me giving a reflection on competitive eating. And uh, it's just closure for me. So as you guys remember, I made a video back in I think June, I called Transition, where I basically said I'll stop doing competitive eating. And then a little while after that, I kind of went back for a short amount of time. I don't know, that was weird. It was just like, well, maybe I could make it work, but I soon realized that there was a reason I quit in the first place. But this is pretty much just a reflection video on competitive eating and my experience with it and do I recommend it? Uh, do should you should you do it like that should not should anyone just any normal person go out and do competitive eating just for sport for the fun of it just as a hobby uh, the short answer is no I'm gonna explain that uh, pretty much why I think that competitive eating is a ridiculous and extreme sport and uh, let that be let competitive eating be a last ditch resort for just like desperate uh, boredom honestly that's basically what it was for me and now that I have stuff going on, uh, competitive eating doesn't seem so uh, so good to me anymore. It's not as fun anymore. And it just plain sucks, guys. If you've ever done like an eating challenge or anything competitive eating related, you'll know it's hard, it's painful. Uh, if you fail, it usually costs a lot of money and it's a lot of time commitment. You have to train a lot. It's not, it's not your uh, average man's uh, sport by any means. It's really intense, takes a lot of prep, just like any other sport you're trying to go pro in or just be really good at. And from my experience, I realized that it's not for me and uh, I'd rather prioritize my health. And uh, a lot of people, when you say health, uh, they think, oh, well, you're just trying to live a long time. What's the point of that if you can't enjoy your life? Well, that's the point. The whole thing is that I want to enjoy my life. I want to not feel like crap. I want to not be constantly stuffed. I want to just like live a lifestyle that's more uh, cruelty free and stuff like that. I am completely committing to a lifestyle free of animal products. I have decided that I'm going to do that. And if for some reason I ever do go back to competitive eating, it will not be conventional competitive eating. It will be my own veganized twist on it. Uh, but that's not seeming likely. I'm just saying if it does ever happen, then that's all that can that's all that will happen because I won't go back to uh, eating animal products just for competitive eating. And honestly, that's kind of what it was the first time. Uh, I did dip my get my feet wet with veganism before I started competitive eating. And then I decided that I had an excuse to eat animal products <laughs> if I was a competitive eater because then it's for sport. It's not just out of gluttony, which, I guess you, there's there's both sides of the coin on that one. You can argue either way. You can argue that oh, it is it is promoting uh, animal death and suffering, but at the same time, you could say oh, well, it is for sport and accomplishment, and it is uh, hard work and dedication and doing something you love. And I can understand both sides of it, but I personally will not be involved in competing. That being said, I I do still plan on being involved in competitive eating as a whole, uh, just not out of the competitive aspect of it. Uh, a friend of mine, Gideon OG, Gideon the Truth OG, I'm sure you guys know him. He is, I think, number five or number four ranked competitive eater uh, in the world based on MLE's rankings. And he does want to start a YouTube channel and we will be filming his first official video. The last one didn't turn out so well. He didn't like the end product, but his first actual video that we're going to be uploading and it's going to be a collab with a big YouTuber I'm sure you guys are all aware of. I'm sure you guys watch. Uh, it's exciting. It's exciting to be a part of it and just uh, be filming and editing his videos because I honestly like filming and editing more than I do like the competitive eating aspect. But yeah, this video I just wanted to reflect, just tell you guys that competitive eating is, is just something that uh, I found out wasn't for me. I'd rather not be suffering and <laughs> completely in agony and feeling like crap. Uh, ever since I, I decided to go vegan, like my health just has just been so much better. My energy levels, my circulation even, like I used to get cold hands and feet all the time. Not anymore, I never get cold usually anywhere unless I'm in a meat locker or something, which <laughs> I don't think I'll find myself there anytime soon. I will keep making videos. 
I do have some ideas for the future. I know a lot of people uh, are asking me if I'm gonna keep doing uh, eating videos and a few people uh, have unsubscribed because I stopped doing eating videos. And if you're in that boat, then feel free. Uh, thank you so much for staying with me this long and just kind of supporting me and being subscribed and watching my videos. It means a lot to me and uh, I wish you all well in the future if you do decide to leave. But if you are staying with my channel, uh, I will have good content for you guys in the future. Uh, <laughs> don't let this video reflect the normal type of video that I will be uploading because this is really just an impromptu video. I don't really have any equipment and I don't have time right now to do much. But I just want to get a video up to let you guys know that uh, I'm going to keep continuing. I do want to make another video talking about my whole fruit fruit diet experience and uh, what happened there and how everything ended up and what transpired. But that will be a separate video. I don't have time in this video. I don't want to make this video too long. So uh, once again, competitive eating. Uh, I think I'm done with it, uh, except maybe in the future. I don't know if something happens and I do think about starting a, a vegan competitive eating. I don't think any such league exists, but I would <laughs> consider uh, if I, which I don't have the funds to do anything like that, but a vegan competitive eating would be something that I would be interested in maybe being a part of in the future if that were to exist. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy this video. Uh, if you want to know why I stopped competitive eating, Long story short, I basically just dreaded being full and feeling like crap and my health was deteriorating and it was costing me a lot of money just to make each video. Like each video was between 20 and like up to $50 to make. So I couldn't keep doing that just to destroy myself. And I knew like I had a mental block when it came to competitive eating. I'm always competitive in everything I do, but competitive eating just, I couldn't excel in it because I knew in the back of my head that I, I wouldn't be doing this for long. It's not sustainable. It's not a healthy thing. And I personally, uh, I personally tried not to purge. Um, I will admit, at the towards the end of my competitive eating career, uh, full transparency, I was uh, told, I was told by uh, a couple of people, that uh, you got to throw up, you got to throw it all up. Uh, that's what we do. But I, I don't want to say that's reflective of all competitive eaters because it's certainly not. Not everyone does that. And. Uh, from one token of it, I support the uh, the puking of it, but by another token, I don't because, uh, so like Nathan Figueroa, he said that if you, you're gonna eat it, you have to deal with the consequences, uh, which I, I agree with that. But at the time when you feel miserable, um, if, you, if I guess if you wanna be selfish about it and just waste all that flesh you just consumed and just throw it up, I mean, I guess that's your prerogative, but um, I mean, I'm not gonna say any specific names. I don't wanna get in people's business, violate their privacy in any way. I just wanna let you guys know that, that, that that's where I was headed. That that road, that extremeness, that's, that's the road I was headed down. And um, I will make a future video talking about everything, everything I know. Um, and it's just, it's just to me, I, that was too much. You know, that was just way too much and um, I didn't want to be, I, I, I really didn't even want to be saying this, but I didn't want to get to that point, basically. So that was another big, big thing for me. Um, and uh, sealing the nail in the coffin, all the other factors were already there. I was already considering it. And then this was like, no, I can't, I can't do this. Like, I'm not, I'm not that into it. I'm not that extreme. And then after watching the, uh, the Earthlings documentary and after the fruit fast, I was just like, man, this is so, this, this lifestyle is so much more me. It, this is me. Like, this is, I'm not gonna fake, I'm not gonna fake it just for YouTube. Uh, full transparency from here on out. I said, it, I said it in my last video, I'll say it again. Uh, you guys deserve to know everything and I will fill you guys in. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, stay, stay looking out for future videos. I'll try to get them up soon, try to get more back into recording. School has been, guys, school has been keeping me way too busy, way too much going on. So I'm, I'm so sorry. That's, that's one of the main reasons it's been so long. But yeah. Please subscribe if you haven't. If you want to see more videos, uh, like like the video. That helps me a lot. If you like it, uh, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. I'm pretty sure I said that all like three times, but bear, bear with me here. I'm trying to get back into the groove of things and being more myself from here on out. So see you guys later. It's been King Carb. I'm signing out and have a really great.